Welcome to 3 Minute Thoughts. So role playing games have been a huge part of my life uh, ever since my childhood. And since I want to tell some stories, not about any specific game in general, but just stories about that kind of thing, I figured I should start at the beginning. And that is the very first role playing game I played, which was Basic Dungeons and Dragons. I was seven years old and I was very excited. I think it was a Christmas present or birthday present. It was around that time. And I was really excited. I saw this in a store and I'm like, I have to have this. And my parents are like, but it says it's for 12 and up. I was seven. I'm like, please. And so I did get it and it made no sense because I was seven and it's instructions for how to play a social game, not an actual board game. But I did it playing it. My mom GM'd and there was some interesting things about that game system, which they really quickly got rid of, which was a good thing. The rule book looked like a magazine, about 40 some pages. It had rules for characters. And unlike the more modern games, you had like four classes, a uh, fighter, mage, thief, and cleric. They didn't call them that. They called them, they're similar names to that. But they also had three races, halfling, dwarf, and elf. But they treated all seven of those as classes. So you could be a mage or you could be an elf. You couldn't be an elf mage. Which, after the basic edition, they moved on to the advanced, they dropped all that. They said races and classes are separate and handled separately, which was a good move because saying you're a level three elf is weird. That was the other thing is you only went up to level three. So it went one, two, three, which doesn't feel like you could get a substantial campaign out of. The idea was after that, you would move on to Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, which I did have all those books, which in that you then, you, it was split between race and class were different. And I remember, just remember, the dice, uh, the numbers were not colored in, but they also supplied a crayon along with it. So you could color in the numbers yourself. Oh, characters. Very, very harsh. You had six traits, which has remained to this day. But you rolled 3d6 and you just went down the table from top to bottom. And whatever you got is what you got. So you rolled a five on your strength. That was your strength. And after you rolled all the dice, then you decide what you want to be. I remember my very first character was a cleric. Uh, because it had a high wisdom. Later editions, of course, allow you to finagle the points around. Much better system. I vaguely remember the first couple of ventures. It was using the, 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 the dungeon in the back of the book. It was just, it was silly fun. But it was enough silly fun to get me addicted for like the rest of my life into playing role-playing games. So, there's that. Anyway, those are my thoughts, and hopefully I should have some more interesting role-playing game stories, but I want to start with the foundations first. Thanks.